Hi everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video number 9 for chapter 2. In this video, we will look at an example with a discontinuous coefficient function. So, we consider this equation y prime minus y equals g of t where g of t is a piecewise defined function that is for t between 0 and 1 it's 1 and then when t is between 1 and 2 it's negative 2 and we have the initial condition y0 equals 0 we want to find a solution y of t on the interval t between 0 and 2 where the g function is given Note that the function g here is discontinuous on this interval. At t equal 1, it has a jump from 1 to negative 2. Due to the reason that g is defined piecewise, then we can split the solution steps into two on each of these intervals. First, we consider the interval t between 0 and 1. Here, the g equals 1 on the right-hand side. Therefore, we have this equation where we put the g value on the right-hand side and uh, we have the initial condition, the original one. Now, this is a, a standard first-order linear equation with initial condition. We already know how to solve it, so I will skip the details, and then let's say we solve this, and then we found the solution. So, I would like to remark that this solution is only defined on the interval t between 0 and 1. So recall that um, the next step will be to solve the equation on the interval t between 1 and 2. And in order to solve the equation, we would need to have an initial condition for this interval, namely the value at t equal 1. And this we can get from this solution. So the value at 1, y of 1, would be plugging t to be 1 here, and that is e minus 1. Now let's go to step 2 to solve the equation on the interval t between 1 and 2. So we have the initial value problem. Here's the equation. Here's the value g, which is negative 2. And uh, this will be the corresponding initial condition at t equal 1. Okay, so here I remark that this initial condition, t equals 1, is the beginning of this interval, and which was the end of the interval of the previous solution, and therefore we can use the solution there at t equal 1 as the initial condition for this step. Here we are assuming that solution is continuous. So again, we see that that's a standard initial value problem for a first-order linear equation. We know how to solve it. Let's say we carried out our integrating factor method, and then we plug in the initial condition and find the um, integration constant. And then this will be the solution you will obtain. And this solution is defined on the interval t between 1 and 2. And finally, we can put the two steps together and uh, form our solution. So our solution can also be written in a piecewise way because it takes different expressions on the different intervals for t. So for t between 0 and 1, we have this one, which was obtained in step 1. And then t between 1 and 2, this is our solution, which is obtained in step 2. Okay, finally, let me present some graphs. Here on the left is the graph of the function g of t. This is the t-axis, and that's g. And we see that 
from 0 to 2 the function is defined and it has a jump at 1 it jumps down from 1 to negative 2 and uh, the jump here on the right hand side can be observed in the solution the graph of the solution at t equals 1 here we see that the solution right here at that point is not differentiable because the left derivative and the right derivative are different so it has a kink but the solution is continuous okay so that's uh, all I want to say for this example so to summarize if you have a um, piecewisely defined function in your ODE a good strategy would be to cut your solutions into various steps and uh, on each step you consider the interval where the solution is defined and then you update your initial condition and move to the second interval okay so that is a, just a strategy to solve the equation um, I would like to put a final remark um, that is in general for ODEs with discontinuous coefficient the standard theory of existence and uniqueness is very different from the one we have discussed for continuous coefficient okay so it's a completely different set of theorems which um, we do not cover in this course because um, well this is called elementary differential equation and those are not so elementary okay so that is all for this video I hope it's useful and you liked it and uh, I look forward to see you next time